Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I get a lot of people, I get my Samsung Knights out there, and I get Google Pixel people who hate me when I say the S23 Ultra might be a little bit better. Like, there is a fierce competition between these two phones. So I wanted to test them out for myself and see which one that I prefer and which one you might prefer as well. Like, it's a very subjective thing but these are two of the best Android phones out there and I wanted to do a quick comparison. I'm not going to talk about every spec in the book but I just wanted to let you know what I think about these two phones and how they test out. So with all that being said let's get right into it and let's test these two phones with a comparison between the S23 Ultra and between the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Okay, so the first comparison I wanna make is about price because the price of the S23 Ultra, it is a little bit pricey. But if you compare the 7 Pro with the S23 Ultra, you're gonna see, wow, there's a little bit of a gap here and that really might make you consider some things. So the Pixel 7 Pro does start at $899 at the retail price, but nowadays between this phone and the S23 Ultra, we're seeing a ton of sales. So the S23 Ultra starts at $1,200. So you're looking at about a $300 price gap and that is a pretty significant thing. Now, when you look at other things, for example, you might look at sale prices. Well, the S23 Ultra, you can find it around $900 at times, depending on the time of the year, maybe 950. Of course, you can find it even cheaper on the used market. But the Pixel 7 Pro, I found that phone for like 700 bucks on the new market. Of course, that's not all the time. It does depend on sales. And if you look at the used market, you could find that phone for like $500 nowadays. It is ridiculous how much lower the value is. And that's a good and bad thing depending on who you are, depending on if you're buying it new, or if you're just looking for a steal on the used market. Either Either way, I'll say the Pixel 7 Pro does have a big advantage as far as the price, but there are some compromises you're gonna see as we go through this review. And one place you'll see a little bit of compromise is in the design of the phones, mainly the fingerprint sensor. It's not a ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, and in my testing, it's not quite as reliable. Yes, the Pixel 7 Pro has a better fingerprint sensor than you'll find in other phones, like from past Google phones, the Pixel 6 Pro or the Google Pixel 6, but regardless, the fingerprint print sensor is still a little bit less reliable and if you do compare that to something like the S23 Ultra I did not have any issues with the S23 Ultra sensor and it's ultrasonic so it is going to be improved there. You're also going to see an S Pen. It comes with the S23 Ultra and that is also very significant. You find it in the phone but that also makes the phone feel a little bit heavier. It's also a little bit larger the S23 Ultra not by much but that extra size and that extra weight that S Pen, it could be a very good thing for you or a bad thing. Like I actually prefer the Pixel 7 Pro in my hands. I think it's a little bit more comfortable, but some of you out there may actually prefer the S23 Ultra and the design. It's all about preference. Now the S23 Ultra is a little bit better than the S22 Ultra. They did improve it, make it a little more comfortable to use in your hands. But both phones have a very premium design as far as which one you prefer. Again, it's really gonna come down to preference, but I will say there are some sacrifices with no S Pen or no stylus with the Pixel 7 Pro, and you're also looking at a worse fingerprint sensor. And I do think the speakers are a little bit better as well on the S23 Ultra. Now, moving on to the display, the displays are very close as far as how good they are, but I will say I do prefer the display on the S23 Ultra. Again, it's not by much. They're both gonna be terrific. They have terrific resolutions, for example, and they look great when you're watching content. The brightness levels are also very, very good. You're talking about 1750 as far as the peak nit brightness on the S23 Ultra. You're only looking at 1500 nits on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So it's not quite as bright as the S23 Ultra. I don't think it's gonna matter all that much. Yes, I love the AMOLED display on this S23 Ultra, but of course you do still get a great AMOLED display on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So it's not really a huge difference in my book. I think the displays are similar, but again, you're gonna get an ever so slightly better edge 
to the S23 Ultra. Of course, you get 120 hertz in both phones, and that is great, and that is terrific. Now, when we look at performance, it's very, very interesting because you do have a Tensor G2 processor in the Google Pixel 7 Pro, and that processor, I have to say, it does get a little bit warm, but if you look at the Snapdragon processor that comes in the S23 Ultra, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, that processor is much more efficient. It's much better for battery life, and you don't really have to worry about a lot of overheating. So the Pixel 7 Pro, I'm not saying you have to worry about overheating, but if you do game on very high settings on some crazy games, or even when you're first setting up your device and you're downloading everything to the device, the device will feel a little bit warmer in the hand. We're seeing a lot of that with the Google Pixel Fold reviews. The Tensor G2, it just gets a little warm. It's not bad, it's not terrible. I could still record 4K video with it fine, but I did record outside one day when it was really, really hot outside, and of course, it did overheat. It'll overheat a little bit faster, for example, than the Samsung Galaxy. Now that's not a big deal if you're someone who doesn't do crazy stuff or crazy gaming, you're not recording 4K video outside. That is not everyone, right? And when you look at performance day to day, your average person won't notice a significant difference. The Pixel 7 Pro flies through most things just fine. The S23 Ultra does the same. Multitasking is great on both devices. There is a cool thing with the software of course, you do get Samsung DeX if you do want to plug in your phone to a monitor. Samsung DeX is a really nice thing to have as far as software. It does allow you to multitask a little more. You don't get that with the Google Pixel 7 Pro, but the Pixel 7 does have a lot of cool features. The Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro because they do have the awesome typing experience. If you are using the voice dictation, it's really great. There's a lot of great Pixel specific features. It's much better with call screening and also with getting rid of those spam calls. That's very important on the Pixel. So I do love the UI a little more on the Pixel phones, but you're actually getting more guaranteed updates as far as OS updates on Samsung phones. You're getting four years of OS updates compared to at least three on Google Pixel phones. So that is another thing to consider. Of course, another thing you have to consider is the ecosystem. A lot of you love the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem. You have Galaxy Buds, you have all of that. Some of you might prefer a Pixel tablet and Pixel headphones. That's a little bit of a preference, but if you do prefer Galaxy tablets, if you really are in that Galaxy ecosystem, you are gonna get a little more use or you might prefer the Samsung Galaxy phones as well. Now, outside of those things, what about the smaller details between these two phones, like battery life. Well, again, the processor is much more efficient in the S23 Ultra, so you should see much better battery life in that phone. Like they both have 5,000 milliamp batteries, and that is tremendous, but the Tensor G2 is worse with efficiency, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it is much, much better as far as battery life. So I would expect around seven or eight hours of screen on time with the S23 Ultra, and with the Google Pixel 7 Pro, it might be around five. So it does vary by person, it varies if you're on Wi-Fi or not, or if you're going around, but the point is, I do get a little bit of better battery life from my Galaxy phone. Now it might sound like I'm all team Galaxy on this, but the truth is I'm not. I'm a huge Pixel nerd. I'm a Pixel fanboy. I love the Google Pixel tablet. I made a big review on it and not a lot of people watched it. So I really love Pixel devices, even if my audience doesn't like it as much as me. Like I prefer the UI, I love the features on those devices, and I'm a big value hunter. So I love Pixel devices because I can often find them for cheaper prices, and because they give me similar performance and a very good bang for the buck. But the S23 Ultra, again, it is a tremendous device. But one thing, when we look at these two devices and go beyond these things, like we do have to look at the camera. And again, it might sound like I'm beating up on the Pixel and I'm gonna get there. Like I think the Pixel is a tremendous value, but the S23 Ultra is very good too. You do have less shutter lag on the Pixel 7 Pro. If you have kids, you're taking pictures of a lot of moving objects, you are going to get better photos, in my opinion, with the Pixel 7 Pro. You're gonna get a little more of a natural look with the Pixel, and it's gonna do a little better, in my opinion, with people of different skin tones, but when you look at the S23 Ultra, the shutter lag might be a little bit worse, and the colors, it's really a preference, which 
phone do you prefer as far as the pictures and the colors and what comes out of the pictures? It's really a preference thing in my opinion. I wouldn't even say one camera is necessarily better than the other, but the S23 Ultra is a little more versatile because it does have a better zoom lens. You can go up to 100 times when you're zooming, and that's really nice if you, again, need to take a video of your kid or a picture of your kid from a large distance. Maybe you're in the bleachers really far away. You can still get a nice camera, of course, on the Pixel 7 Pro. Again, you're looking at a 200 megapixel camera versus like a 50 megapixel camera. So yes, the Pixel 7 Pro is only 50 megapixels, but you have to consider the other factors megapixels doesn't mean quality and when you look at the quality of the photos I think they're very very similar it just depends on if you prefer more natural looking photos or if you prefer Samsung's punchy photos right I really think Samsung tries to really make your photos look good on social media but some of you might prefer the more natural look but Samsung at least gives you better options as far as zooming in so that is something to consider if you do prefer that I also like Samsung's pro mode which is awesome for me as a content creator I actually use the S22 for a lot of my close-ups in my videos because it does give me a lot of versatility to be able to change the ISO, to change the colors. It's very, very nice as far as that pro mode. So I like that with Samsung phones. So it sounds like I really like Samsung because the phone on the S23 Ultra has better battery life. It is a little bit better as far as performance. It doesn't overheat. And it's also better as far as the display, just a little bit better. And it does have an S Pen. It does have a better fingerprint sensor. But all of those things, you have to remember the price difference here. Like you're looking at 300 bucks, maybe even more if you're looking on the used market. So if that's what you're looking at, and whenever I bought my Pixel 7 Pro that I'm using in this video, I actually bought it for like over a $400 price difference. So it's a pretty big deal, right? That price difference. If you're a bargain hunter out there, Look for some good bargains on the Pixel 7 Pro. If you don't care about the S Pen, the brightness levels are so minor, right? The display differences are so minor. Performance wise, if you're not gaming on the high settings all the time, the performance differences are again, very, very minor. It's not that big of a deal. So if you're someone out there who is looking for a bargain, you're willing to go with a phone that's like not 100%, maybe 95%. Like if you're okay with a couple compromises, you're gonna get a phone that you may prefer the software on. You may prefer the UI on Pixel phones. You may prefer the unique features that Pixel phones have as far as voice dictation and things like that. So there are still some things to prefer on Pixel phones, but the differences might not be that big of a deal if you don't care about it. S Pen, and as far as battery life goes, the battery life is still decent on the Pixel 7 Pro, and if you're not out there shooting 4K 60 frames per second in blazing heat, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with overheating either. So when you look at those minor things, right, even though there are a lot of minor wins for Galaxy, there are some wins for Pixel, and those wins might be more significant for you. I think both phones are tremendous. I love the S23 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro very equally. For myself, I'm often a bargain hunter. So the Pixel 7 Pro, it does appeal to me as someone who would rather save money, who would rather not spend a ton of money on a phone. But if you're someone out there who really prefers Samsung DeX, you want your phone to be able to be used like a laptop or with a laptop-like environment. If you prefer the S Pen, which is great to have when you need a signature here or there, then the S23 Ultra is for you. If you really need battery life, if you're someone who uses your phone a lot for your job, then yeah, you'll get a little more efficiency on the S23 Ultra. So overall, which phone is better? I would say the S23 Ultra. Which phone is a better value? I would say the Pixel 7 Pro. Which phone should you buy? It really depends on who you are. It depends on which software you prefer. It depends on the prices you see these phones at. I still think the S23 Ultra for some of you may be worth spending an extra even $300 for. Like it's a really, really good phone. And even with the Z Folds coming out and all these other foldable phones, if you're just wanting the best phone out, I think the S23 Ultra technically is the best phone out, but I think the Pixel 7 Pro is the best phone for some people. And I think it's really underrated 
and I really like it, and I'm not trying to play both sides here. I know either way the comments are gonna flame me probably either way. Like, I really love both phones. Like, I love the Pixel phones. I have been a Pixel fanboy forever, but the S23 Ultra is, in my opinion, the best phone that's out. So it's a tough call. So which phone do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this overview and this comparison has helped you out. Give me a like to this video as well. Give me a sub, that would mean a lot. And one other thing you could do is check out some other videos. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy your week and check the links in the description as well if you're looking for some great deals.